is Esad Ariyami, who joined the first group of the Omanis to be assessed in English language, maths and physics, and also underwent medical tests. His hopes are to complete his training and work in one of PDO's major projects in order to support his parents and provide a better education for his sister. This is Mu'ad al-Habsi. He too was amongst the first group who has been accepted. His dream is to be a 6G welder in one of the biggest oil companies within the Gulf region. And this is Yusuf al-Mahdhuri. He says that he wants to be amongst the first batch to receive the 6G welder's certification to be a great example for all the young Omanis his age. This is the story of young Omanis, passionate to thrive, eager to succeed, and are preparing for a brighter future. It is the story of the 6G welders. Currently, PDO's three giant oil and gas projects, Rabab Harwil, Yibal Kuf and Budur, all need the best-in-class technology and the best-in-class human resources. And so specialized skills are paramount. Amongst them is the 6G welding, the most difficult type of weld technique and one that needs certification. But first, let's see how it all began and what these major projects mean to PDO. PDO is working on three large oil and gas integrated projects that are critical for sustaining oil and gas production for Oman. These projects are complex in nature. The fluids which they will be handling are very corrosive, uh, requiring a use of special corrosion resistance uh, material for construction of the facilities. The timing of this project is perfect. SPDO has gained valuable experience in execution of large EOR projects in recent years. And so PDO has embarked on a program to train young Omanis, not only securing jobs, but a promise to provide skilled Omanis. The training is at the highest international level as skilled 6G welders to work on the three major PDO oil and gas projects. The 6G development program is, is truly exciting. It's central to the ICV strategy. It's about creating local talent. It's a program that is designed to train high school graduates for two years and make them graduate with an international certification, a certificate that is not only recognized in Oman but internationally so that they can work anywhere in the world. The training scheme was developed by a core PDO team. The first group of 245 Omanis was assessed in English language, maths and physics and also underwent medical tests before being accepted onto the groundbreaking vocational scheme. So what is 6G welding? There are different positions when it comes to welding. There's the 1G, where the pipe axis is horizontal, which means the welding takes place on the top while the pipe is being rotated. The 2G is when the pipe axis is vertical and the welding takes place around, as seen here. While the 5G is when the pipe axis is horizontal, similar to the 1G, but the welder does the welding all around the pipe without it being rotated. And then there is the 6G where the pipe is inclined at 45 degrees and the welding takes place around it. A qualified 6G welder can weld at any of these positions. The objective of this program is to create sustainable employment for the Oman nationals. The attention on this scheme is high as it comes under the umbrella of in-country value, ICV. The first batch was launched under the auspices of His Excellency Salim bin Nasser al Oufi, the Undersecretary at the Ministry of Oil and Gas, who finds the program a landmark. Of the 260 skills we reviewed as part of the ICV program, welding was at the top six. 
from importance, criticality to the business, and the demand. It's also a fantastic example of aligning the Sultanate requirements for employment and the challenges associated with that and the industry requirements. PEDIA awarded the training contract to raise skills development, whose instructors will hone the recruits' competences at its technical training centre in Muscat. It's a real challenging course. It's the first of its kind in Oman, and the 400 Omanis that are going to go through this course are really going to set the standard. I also think it's a great example of very specialised training that we intend to replicate in so many other specialised skill pool requirements. A second group of 200 is expected to start the rigorous course and the successful candidates will begin working on PDO's huge Rabah Parwil integrated project where the first oil production is expected in 2019. It's the first of many schemes for development of Omanis to allow them to enter into a employment market to achieve sustained career path. This pioneering course should produce a pool of around 400 Omani skilled welders who will be qualified to work anywhere in the world. It is the history in the making. It is an opportunity and we need to capitalize on it. It's PDO acting on its vision. For many years, PDO has championed in country value to improve the capacity and capability of Omani people in order to secure long-term sustainable commercial benefits for the Sultanate and this new initiative fits squarely into that commitment.